and this gun's MSRP'd at 599. So a lot of people, we, we hear it, we understand it. $1,000 is a lot of money for a gun, especially if it's a first time gun user. $600, it's right in that sweet spot. It's, it's now affordably priced at that price range that people can really try it out now and see it and see if it's the one for them and see it and see if it's the one for them and see it and see if it's the one for them and see it and see if it's the one for them. Hi there. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get a little bit more personal. All right, this comes off as mean or angry. It's really not. It's, it's just me being really, really passionate about this. If you guys are into guns, you guys have obviously seen this right here. The folding Glock, all right? Fast forward to January 24th, 2020. Location, SHOT Show 2020. The company I'm talking about is Full Conceal. Now, Full Conceal is the company that is uh, that actually came out with the folded Glock. They came out with the with the foldable Glock, the Gen 3s. Uh, they did uh, the Glock 19s and I think the Glock 43s also. Fast forward to SHOT Show 2020, they come out with their own gun for $5.99. So what I'm here to tell you is a story for me, my personal experience on the company, and what has transpired so far, and where we're at to the current day, which is, June 16th, 2020. I'm with my boys. You guys know I come to Full Conceal every year because yeah. you guys do something every year. You listen to consumers, yes. you listen to complaints, yes. and you do something. Like yeah. You, you actually act on it, and I think that's cool. And uh, you've addressed another concern yes. with your new product. Tell yes. us about it. So our new product right here, we're calling it the M3D S6. S6 stands for sub 600. And the reason why we did that is this gun is under $600. Yeah. Even the shoe couldn't believe that. Pretty much what you just seen was what the video that instantly got me interested was. I'm going to use uh, James's footage, I hope it's okay. Uh, James' footage from TFB TV. It's their own proprietary method. It's like a Glock clone. So this is the video I seen instantly caught my attention. So on J January 24th, 2020, this video came out. January 25th, I made my purchase. $620, so I bought the S6, which was in pre-order by the way, bought the S6 in a spare 21 round magazine. They said pre-order and their projection was March or mid-March, people would start getting, depending on when you ordered it, we would be starting getting their pistols shipped out. All right, so fast forward to March 27th, 2020. Now, granted, this is around when Congress has just sent out, I think it was March 26th, Congress has just sent out, um, sent out the letter, like pretty much shutting down the entire country. So I get an email, full conceal. Now, I'm gonna post up emails and messages, and, and I'm, not, I'm not gonna read them because I wanna make this video pretty short. So if you just want to read them, go ahead and pause it. So they did email me, I posted it up, and I was super excited. I was so excited, you could say, that I actually, uh, I posted it to my Instagram and tagged them in it. They actually liked it and mentioned it on their story. I was super stoked. So they emailed me, tracking number. I show you the receipt, it shows you, you know, this is all legit, obviously. It shows you the credit card statement, the email, there it is right there, $620. January 25th is when they took my money. And then April 4th, I get this email. Now mind you, I'm in Afghanistan if you guys don't know. And so when I got this, it was around like 7.30 p.m. my time. I just now got off work. So they sent me this email. If you want to pause and read it, go ahead. So it was kind of odd to me they were asking for my FFL and my contact info when I sent it to them two times before this. So now they're asking for it again. I'm like, cool, no problem. Send the FFL over, which is my FFL, mine and my dad's FFL, me and my dad. Uh, have our own gun shop, so uh, link, click up here, or link will be in the description below, American Arms Engineering. Uh, we do not sell retail, we're strictly a custom shop. April 4th, send me the email, send it all to them. I'm like, okay, maybe they just needed it for their information. They already sent me the tracking number. So when they sent me the email on March 4th uh, from FFL, I'm thinking, you know, maybe they misplaced it or whatever. I didn't even think about it because I already had my tracking number. So I let my dad know at the shop that, hey, this pistol is gonna be coming. So fast forward to April 7th now, I get my package. Just like this said, first class. Uh, he opens it and this is what he gets. Just a magazine and a receipt. So if you look at the receipt a little bit closer, you can see it says it right there, $5.99 for the pistol and $21 for the mag. It says subtotal, 
620 total, 620. And now in the red, it says payment made, $620. Balance due, nothing. Nothing, no pistol, no firearm was in that package at all. So after my father sent me these pictures, he says there's just a magazine and some stickers and no firearm. I immediately went on my email and wrote them a message. And you see it right there, it says April 7th. If you wanna pause it, go ahead and read it. I got no response, zero, nothing. Okay, I tried giving them a call. This is what I got. Thank you for calling Full Conceal. Due to the COVID-19 situation and high demand for our products, our phone support is temporarily suspended. For questions or support, please go to fullconceal.com and use our contact us form to reach us or email us at contact us at fullconceal.com. And that's it. I listened to what the voice says. I went online and this is what I got. Typed up information, sent it all over. I went to go press submit. I get an error message. All right, this is try again later. I try again later. Error message. At this point, I'm kind of concerned now. So I write him an email again. Same thing with the contact me. Can someone please email me back? I've tried calling the office. You see it. I hear nothing back from these people. A few days go by, a few weeks go by. Try emailing again, trying to contact us again, nothing. With all this being said, I went on their Instagram. Now the picture they posted was, and the last picture they posted was back in February of the S6. And it used to say, taking pre-orders. And now they changed the description to 2020 new product in stock. But scrolling through the comments, it wasn't looking good. You listen to consumers. Yes. No, you don't. You do not listen to consumers. You listen to complaints. Yes. And, and you definitely do not listen to complaints. If you listen to complaints, you guys would have put something out publicly instead of making all these people feel like they got scammed or robbed. You do something. Like yeah. You, you actually act on it. And I think that's cool. No, James. They have not acted on it. This is the only video that was ever made on this on this pistol because nobody has gotten the actual pistol. So a lot of people, we, we hear it, we understand it. $1,000 is a lot of money for a gun, especially if it's a first time gun user. $600, it's right in that sweet spot. It's, it's now affordably priced at that price range that people can really try it out now. No, Lee, they cannot try it out and see if they like it because you have to send them the product for them to try it out. Yeah, and, it, and it's really for the, the new user who doesn't want to spend that $1,000 on a gun because they don't know if they're going to like it. At $599, you could take that risk, see if you like it. It shoots just like a Glock. It does not shoot just like a Glock, Lee, because Glocks you can actually shoot. You have to be able to have it to shoot it. You, you, you ruined the experience for the, the new users you guys are saying. You, you, you lost all the trust, integrity, and good faith with your new users. I, I'm fully, I fully understand what's going on with, 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 the, with the country. It, it's in shambles with businesses and everything like that. But at least give us the common courtesy and the common decency to reach out to our emails, our DMs, or post something even on your Instagram story that say, hey guys, we know you guys are wanting your products. This is what's going on, X, Y, and Z. Give an explanation. Acknowledge the fact that you took, I don't even know how, how many, how, how many of these pistols did you guys sell pre-order? Because I know as soon as I seen this video, take my money. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Please give us some kind of explanation. I'm very understanding. And I emailed them again recently, which was yesterday, uh, just touching bases, making sure everybody's okay. I, I'm, I'm not one of these people that are, that are saying, oh, they robbed me, they scammed me. No, 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 no. A courtesy email. I don't care if it's cut and paste for the same people. Same reply. Just say, hey, we're back ordered. If you want a refund, here's a link to file a refund. It's all you have to do. You couldn't even do that. So you go on their Instagram, you see a bunch of a bunch of messages. You guys can pause it if you want, but a bunch of messages from, from very disgruntled people. But I've looked for someone talking about this situation. I this cannot be the I cannot be the only person this has happened to. I want to have faith in this company because I really, really want this pistol. So uh, Lee and the team at Full Conceal, I hope everybody is safe. I hope you guys are doing well. Drop an Instagram story, reply to your DMs, reply to your emails. Give us some kind of peace of mind, even if it's not the answer we want to hear. So with that being said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like that smash button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to go home now because I just filmed this after working like 12 hours. So. Oh,